Episode 24, Anniversary. And I've actually almost caught up with Jason Jessica, believe it or not. I think at the time of this video's upload, uh, Jace put out episode 30 or something. No, he was 29, yeah, so... About five or six episodes ago. Wait, I just give myself an extra one because I might not be counting one of them. Last August, while your dad was comforting you, he got his words mixed up and got your age, along with Taylor's date of birth, completely wrong. Ha! Yeah, he completely screwed up without realizing it. So, to make sure we're actually being accurate here, I was born in February 2001, and Taylor was born in December 2002. Your dad must be getting old. Our dad's not getting old. Like Carly said, he just accidentally got his words mixed up. That doesn't really disprove anything, Taylor. Do you want us to go and get our dad so he can teach you a lesson, Jace? He's the one that got it fucked up! Of course not. Yeah, that's what we thought. Um, is there a chance that we can change the topic to something else? Of course, and I have the perfect topic in mind. Have you and Jessica decided yet on what you're doing for your anniversary tomorrow? Not yet. Jessica and I kinda got a bit sidetracked because of Thanksgiving and a couple other stuff. I just got the plot episode with some of those I forgot episodes. Avoid any and all drama tomorrow, and I don't want things going wrong. Who could blame you? This year of 2020 alone has been pretty chaotic. Well, Jace, if you really feel that way, then why don't you and Jessica just stay home together for the entire day tomorrow? Say what? Think about it. You and Jessica would be together, could do all sorts of stuff like watching movies, playing video games, have food and drinks, and you'd both be able to have a normal, peaceful, and stress-free anniversary. I'm with Carly. Jessica loves you for who you are, so there's really no need to overdo your anniversary plans tomorrow. Plus, I think a peaceful and relaxed full day together would be just what you two need to steadily improve your relationship even more. Do you really think so? Jace, you're talking to the Haven sisters, both of whom are in respective relationships, just like you. Come on, what do you say? All right, fine. But if this idea backfires, you two are the ones at fault for suggesting it to me. <laughs> I do the same you know thing. You had, Jace. There's nothing to worry about, right, Taylor? Yeah, that's right. Explosions. What do you say? I don't know, Jessica, but somehow we managed to blow the house up just by being together, and it's... Yeah, an entire day with you does sound like fun. Sure, we often hang out together on a daily and weekly Parents basis. sign off That's on this? Be completely different. After all, tomorrow marks one year ago that you and I rekindled with one another and started off fresh. Sure, that just leave two 20-year-olds right. alone in a house for their entire day on their anniversary. I'm sure the parents would be just fine with this. Everything for us both would be completely different in terms of how we went about with our lives. For sure. Hey, Jace? Yeah? I'm really looking forward it's a good thing Tyndale Valley is only mostly realistic. It's not 100%, but 90% is acceptable. Hey, you. Hey, door. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you too. Won't slow down their hot stuff. The body touching is for later. <laughs> Much later. On not even a hug. You're already not making this easy for me. <laughs> Babe, I'm just messing around with you. Come here. And then they fucked. Right here, right is it now. Just me, or does your walkway look different? Huh? Oh yeah, I was gonna tell you last night. But I wanted you to see this in person. My dad called in a few of his buddies, and they redid the entire walkway for free. Now it looks even better than before. Free! You know what? I think so too now that I'm seeing it for myself. Do you think your dad and his friends could redo my walkway too? For free? I don't see why not. I can talk to him about The friends be like, we do! Right now, we've got more important matters to attend to. I should vote him a lot of favors. You've been really good friends. Let's go. 
I wish I could get. I wish my dad had was his. No, no, I shouldn't have done that. Just be like, wish it was that easy for me. It still feels like it. Was just we hire. When we had to we hire people to do our to do these jobs, and they take yeah, months to get sure it done. These people just did it in a decent amount of time for free. Yeah, it might have taken a while for to be fair. Also kind of reminding me of another memory too. Really? Which one? Oh God, it's a flashback episode. A memory that's been really close to my heart for so many years. The one that when you and I first officially met in person, way back in May of 2016. Oh, how could I ever forget about that day? It was love at first sight for you. And if I recall, you and Juliet were doing a bit of sightseeing. Yeah, we were. I remember that day, May 4th, 2016. Juliet and I Could you be more specific at 11.59 a.m.? With exactly 37 seconds on the clock. Well, Juliet, now that we're done checking out the museum, what do you want to do next? I don't know, Jess. We've been checking out the town's famous landmarks for the past four hours, and my feet hurt like crazy. <laughs> so you're saying you want to rest? Yeah, this girl looks weird like this. Then again, I've seen her in the ponies for so long. If you're seeing her in different hairstyles, like, what is this alien language? Sure. Awesome. Let's go. Hey, Jess, what's wrong? Oh, Jess? Hey, I just met you, and this is crazy. To Jessica. Anyone home in there? What on earth has gotten into you? You were just fine a few seconds ago. Why do you all of a sudden look like you've fallen head over your shoes in love or something? Because she fell Please. head over your head. So cute. in love Jess, with something. What are you talking about? Man, I wish I could just run up to that blonde boy right now and ask him to be my boyfriend. He looks super attractive. Oh, blonde God. boy? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Juliet, I really want to meet him. Just looking at that boy gives me butterflies in my stomach. How is that even possible? You don't even know that boy's sitting on that bench over there. There's just, just something about him that's making me go crazy. I don't believe in love yeah, at I first sight, really but maybe that's because any time I snap out of it. they had it, I'm completely it was completely choice. wrong. So great. Oh, for the love of. I've had those moments of it myself, but it didn't work out for me. Can I spare a moment of your time? Uh, sure. But who are I you? don't believe I did experience. My name is Juliet, Juliet Caden. And I'm going to deck your socks nice off. To you, Juliet. Same to you. But is there a chance we can save the introductions for later? I oh, sure. Really mean the, the first time. And it's right over there. Ha! And why exactly are you pointing at some girl who looks like she's in love? <laughs> because she's in love. Friend Jessica K. Anderson, and you're right. She's in love, but for some reason, it's because of you. This isn't some kind of joke, is it? I honestly wish myself that it was a joke. I'm wondering, do you think you could go over there and talk to Jessica, just to help snap her out of her little trends? Wait, you're kidding, right? I can't do that. Look, I know I've been handed a girlfriend on a silver platter. That well for that matter, but please, Jace. I really have no idea how to get Jessica to snap out of it. What am I supposed to say to her? You're asking me to talk to some girl that I don't even know. And for that, Jess, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, do you think you can give it a shot? For me? Sure, somebody I don't know. I'd be happy to... Alright, let me see what I can do. If I had this happen to be IRL, here's what I'd be doing. Run the other way. Right there. Jessica K. Anderson. Because this does not happen, yes, IRL. Jessica K. Anderson. And you are? My or at the very least, I'd have my defenses up. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And again, Jason you. is a can yeah, of pepper spray on standby. Well, that's really kind of you. you know. I'm going to think of something else. So yourself, hmm. Even if you're entranced in love because of me. Please, keep talking. I really want to hear more of your words. Well... This should be quite the experience. Five years later. You didn't just fall in love with me because of my looks. You really did open yourself up to me about who you truly are over the next few weeks after we met. Well, of course I did. 
I didn't want to be seen by you as just some love crazed girl desperate for a relationship. In other words, I didn't want you to think I was Amy. Looks back at two episodes ago where she was literally Amy. Thanks, babe. I can say the same about you. You went from a 17 year old blonde cutie to a 22 year old blonde hottie. Make another comment like that. And I'll get you out of your clothes right here and right now. Oh, really? Let us make hot yeah, fuck. I take them off now before you get the chance to do it. Content ID. And the video is flagged. Enjoying yourself right now, babe. Now, what kind of question is that? I still have no idea how he gets away with this. You do this more often, ordering Avon Brandos and watching Paw Patrol episodes. You know, JSI just might take you up on that. That scene with Chase gets me every time. Wanna take a break for a while? We can finish watching this episode later. Sure. So, what should we do now? Would you like me to make us some sundays? I'd like that. I'll take a cherry on top of mine if you have any. You should have the requirements. Yeah, well, did. actually, if you were playing this, you probably did get a sunday requirements me. ready. Should only take me a few minutes. Several hours later. I think I'll go and use the bathroom while I wait for Jace to make the sundays. Jace comes back with the sundays. Jessica, don't me. Gives up on life. <laughs> It's needlessly dark. What was that? I could have sworn I heard something fall in here. Well, it wasn't one of Jace's DVDs. Jace would take off one of them to watch the movie. Off his desk either. Maybe it was just something in his closet. It's a skeleton. No, everything seems normal in here too. Nothing but clothes, moving boxes, an engagement ring box, a small shelf. Wait a minute. Wait a second. Engagement ring box. No way. What's an engagement ring box doing in Jace's closet? The backstroke. Was, was Jace planning to? No, there's no way he'd do it for our one year anniversary. That would be a bit extreme. A too soon. Wait, but what? I don't know that. I have a fellow, I had an employee, so uh, I had a co worker decide, oh, let's see, we've been dating for a month. Will you marry me? I don't think that relationship worked out after that because who the fuck does that? Take a peek though just to make sure, or do I not risk it? Hey Jess, are you up here somewhere? Nope. Damn it. I'd better close the closet doors and get out of here before Jace catches me snooping around. Oh, fuck. there you are, Jess. I got a little worried when I couldn't find you downstairs. What are you doing in here? Well, um, I thought I heard something in here, babe, so I got a bit worried and came in here to investigate, but I didn't find anything. Really? Huh, well, thanks for checking it out for me. Come on, let's go have our Sundays. They're downstairs on the couch. Hey, Jace? Yeah, Jess. Um... Do you ever see us getting married someday? I mean, yeah, of course I do. But we've still got to give this relationship more time so that we can connect and grow closer. Why do you ask? Were you expecting me to propose to you tonight for our anniversary? Oh, uh, no. That was just a random question that <laughs> randomly popped into my head. Perfectly natural. It would have been funny, though, if you actually did something like that tonight. Yeah, it would have. But at the same time, it would have been too soon to propose to you, at least in my opinion. Yeah, you're right. She's casually okay. talking about this, Let's but I think Jace is on her. Have our Sundays. So why was there an engagement box in his his closet?
you just planning on it for the future? Today's anniversary was better than I thought. What better way to end it than to relive that moment from last year when we had our first kiss after getting back together? Yeah, reliving that moment is far more romantic. Not saying the sex earlier wasn't just as good too, but that's only a small fraction of what our relationship is about. Are we that will never not hit me like a truck. Or are we gonna keep reliving the moment? Okay, the, the blow impact might have reduced, but it would never not impact me. Ah, the limitations of beyond. We've got the whole house to ourselves. I'd really love to bathe. Really, I would. But unfortunately, I have to turn you down. We just spent the whole day together, and I should start heading home. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. If you really do need to head home, love, I won't change your mind. Thank you, babe. Thanks for a fantastic anniversary, babe. I'll call you later before I go to bed. Okay, Jess. Have a safe walk home. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I was just going to say something, but I didn't decide not to say it. other for over four years but despite everything between us and now that we are rekindling our relationship I truly believe deep down in my heart that Jessica is the one for me the day will eventually come when I will propose to her so the engagement ring for for the future that's fine there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> although if you end up not working out you're fucked yep, this is longer than expected Oh, that was a nice little episode. Probably like a one month, one year anniversary for the series itself as well. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. Um, yeah, cute little thing. I know I made some comments throughout it, but I still, and may not have seen the description of that sure, but honestly, it was a nice little episode. Like, I don't believe in luck at first sight, but that's mainly because I've tried luck at first sight. It did not work out for me because it was not mutual, because it was not a mutual feeling. But that's me. Whatever, at least at the very, very least, while she did enjoy his looks at first, she did get to love him for his personality, so that's good. I like seeing that. I'm not gonna go on for six hours, I'm just gonna go on for six minutes because I suck. <laughs> I don't know when to shut up.